We're back with more Pro League live at the next in arena going into match number two. It's going to be KT Rollster versus Prime. How are you doing, Moonlade? I am good, Valdez. I'm excited for this one. It's going to be an interesting one to see if Prime can, uh, can cause some upsets today, and I'm particularly excited to see Max Head play in Pro League. Yeah, that's the big thing here for me. Um, I feel like Max Head in his debut against Flash could maybe make something happen, and also Creator versus Zest will be another interesting PvP there. Here's KT Rollster. They've got an extremely solid lineup, but they just cannot seem to find wins. Yeah, until today, I think. We'll see what happens. I'm sure Zest is looking for that revenge kill on Creator. It seems like Zest has really fixed up his PvP in recent times, so he should be yeah. coming into this pretty confident. He has been winning a lot of important games. But we will be starting off with that TY versus Yoda. TBT, we had one today. Um, MMA able to take out Cure. Guys, if you missed the, missed the first match, definitely check that out. You'll see stuff all about that on the StarCraft Reddit. Uh, go check out the VODs. A lot of good games before this one. And uh, I'm still excited for this one. See what Prime can actually do against KT. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. That's pretty much the story. It's going to be Prime up against one of the best teams we have in Pro League. Prime, the... Uh, the mega underdog, the the yeah. lost team, uh, the lost place team. Nearly every single round, we'll we'll get like an interesting insight into the uh, the coaches' interviews soon to see what they're actually thinking coming into this one. I can't wait to see what the KT Rosa coach is gonna say. He's usually pretty confident and not scared to say what he thinks. Yeah, let's and see he, how much he badmouths Prime. <laughs> he was the one that was really uh, flirty with the uh, our old yeah. interviewer, right? Yeah. Wonder how, that, watch. wonder how that worked out. <laughs> Doesn't he have like a wife and kid or something? I don't know. <laughs> does he really? <laughs> That'd be really messed up. Uh, apparently he doesn't. So doesn't give me the word. He's single, I think. He well? is single. I, I don't know. He's not taken yet. He's not married yet. He doesn't have a kid. No, he okay. doesn't have a wife. Well, Thinking about a different coach then. Head coach Park. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, he, he has kids, yeah. <laughs> we saw those with our own eyes. So. That's true back on camera guys we're back on camera waiting for those interviews and viewpoints to come along until then we can talk a little bit more about you know this match valdez prime versus kt um I, I think the biggest chances they have is creator and max said coming into this yoder potentially maybe maybe but he was doing much better in round one and then he kind of fell off it's almost like he lost his passion because the rest of his <laughs> team was like oh I don't want to play well, and he's like, okay, I guess I won't either. He just lost his passion about this. It's definitely possible. It's <laughs> horrible, man. <laughs> uh, but it could have happened. You know, it is demoralizing when your team is just is can't find any traction here. It, yeah. it certainly affects you. And, but Yoder is one of those few players on this team that even does well in individual leagues. That's true. Um, Creator not really finding much luck there either. He was doing much better in last season, and unfortunately he's fallen off a lot. Kind of. Uh, part of the reason why Prime went from 7th to 8th place, definitely. Yeah, he's been losing all his games recently. I, I remember looking at his stats, and he lost like the last five in a row or yep. something. If you get a downwards purple arrow, I think you immediately get... Um, it, I, it's immediately because you have an 05. Um, same thing with the upwards one, with our new Pro League arrows. So. I reckon when you get like 10 losses in a row, you should get like a downwards black arrow. <laughs> <laughs> that should be it, man. That's like, that's it. Yeah. I think Terra almost got it. Same with, um, well. Anyway, short viewpoint here. First foreign player to play in 442 days. Do you guys remember the last one? I don't. And Stas excluded from the entry for the <laughs> second time this season. And you guys can talk about this later when the game starts. Because we're going to head into that head coach interview. Let's see. And here we have head coach Kong and Jard from Prime. Prime first. Max said is on the entry on dead wing for se se the second set against Flash. After the global seed, he has experience here, but not. But he hasn't shown any good games yet. But let's see what he's got to say for Pro League. 
If he's given any tips. Uh, after the after last week when we were going back to our game house, Edison wasn't able to come here tonight. Edison is our coach. We asked him. We're going against KT, and I asked if we. Uh, I was thinking. I I told him that I'm thinking of using Max Ed, and he said Edison said. He said he wants him to go against Flash. And Gerard asked Ed Edison back if he could win. And when the entry was revealed, it was Flash. And look at the face of KT Rollster's coach. He does not look amused at all. Let's see what we got to say. Let's see what Flash felt. We didn't even know who it was because when it, we didn't even know it was Jim or Maxa because the entry comes out in your real name, not your ID, when the entry comes out. So I guess this is showing a bit of confidence. But Flash doesn't. Uh, Flash didn't practice uh, less because it's a Chinese player, but he did practice a lot. Although it is a Chinese player, he did as, as he always says. Does. Tess are asking about motivation for Kiki Rolster, how Gerard is wor uh, working on that. Well, we did have really bad results, and when we were starting round three, because of that, I told our players that we should try our best and we need to show something, and that's when we can make something, and from that we can we need to show something, and that that's where we can motivate someone, and that can motivate us. And we decided to show that, and we prepare for this round in, with that manner, and we're going to try our best. Anyways, this was listening to b from both of our head coaches. And back to you guys. You guys can discuss the four, the four, the yeah, last forum player. I'm still thinking about that. It must have been last season. Uh, um, it was. It, it must have been in March. Uh, or uh, no, maybe like beginning of February. Right. Or end of January of last season. It was so long ago. It was Proto's player, right? Oh, God. I can't forget his, I forget his name I, right I, now. Me too. Someone someone tweeted us, give us the answer to He's, this trivia question. He lives question. out here, Valdez. He lives out here. Oh, is it State? It might be State. I guess it must have been State. I think it might have been State for Prime. Yeah. That must have been it. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Well, uh, here are the predictions. Six of us going for TY. I don't think that's uh, very surprising. What do you think? Luke? Not too surprising at all, Valdez. We know what's going on here. And uh, yeah, TY, fantastic TVT player. Yoder, bit under the weather in recent results. And here we go. Here's TY, previously baby. Mm. Some of that uptown funk. I don't like this song. What? What? Uh, I don't like this song. Moonlight, maybe please. it's maybe I don't like uh, Bruno Mars's take on it. Uh, Mark okay. uh, Ronson there, a <laughs> little, little bit. I actually haven't heard this version of it. I thought it was maybe the Bruno Mars one. I'm like, eh, I, I kind of found that one a bit obnoxious. Because okay. I, 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 I watched like the video clip and I'm like, eh, it's kind of kind of <laughs> lame. That's just whatever, me, Valdez. That's whatever. just how I felt at the time. Okay. Well, T.Y. looks kind of bored. He's got like no expression on his face at all. Well, here is Yoda. This, this guy is always listening to hip hop, man. Yeah. He's, he's a gangster, dude. Kind of gives me that impression. It's funny that even though he's 5 and 10, he's still 4 and 1 against Terran. Yeah. And TY is 0 and 2. Wow. Even with all of those stats, uh, everybody going for TY. Yeah. Kind of well, interesting. I, it's still, it's prime. This team that hasn't been doing very well at all for over a year now against KT, one of these the big teams, the winner of season uh, 2014, they won it, man. They're huge, and that lineup today is looking kind of scary. Yeah, they didn't really pull any punches with this one either. Um, they're, they're bringing their full lineup here today against Prime. They want to win. They want to get as many points as possible. They know how important it is to get into a good position for the playoffs, and I love that they're taking it very seriously. Gets me excited, Valdez. Yeah, does it? 
Oh, wiggly and jiggly, <laughs> my friend. I would hope so. Well, guys, let's jump into the game right now. TY versus Yoda to start things off. on the top right in the red. Our KT player, it is T.Y. Down here in the bottom left for Prime, Yoda. Gangsta Terran. Mm. I saw Kenzie reflection in the glass. Mysterious you see him Kenzie. down there, he's got a backpack on. He hasn't been taking many photos of us today, Valdez. I kind of mm. feel ugly. Really? Yeah. We looked really good yesterday. We had a couple of really good pictures. You had that lion picture. I liked that picture. You I didn't like didn't. that one. I, I thought my <laughs> face looked really, like, fat. I mean, it doesn't look like that in real life. It was just... Thank you. Kind of gave you a more natural feel to the picture. Natural feel? Yeah. Mm. Like you and your natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> like a lion or something? Yeah, pretty much. That majestic... Someone actually mane. did tweet that at you. Like, you look like a lion. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. That was pretty funny. I don't know. I don't know if the, the long hair works with uh, the headphones because the headphones block out a lot of it. So this looks like I have like this ton of hair behind my neck and stuff. Mm. When it's tied back like this, it makes it look like I have short hair, but it looks a little bit cleaner. That's what I feel. Yeah. Going back to those those interviews, by the way, the, the coaches' interviews. I thought it was so funny at one point when uh it was the prime coach and he was like, you know, after we did really bad in, in round two, I went to my players and I said, and I thought instantly like. Let's just give up. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's come on, guys. This is we've had enough of this. Let's just it's like I'm sorry, guys. I can't really make anything work. Let's just uh, <laughs> let's, let's call it, let's call it a season. Let's just leave. Maybe next time. <laughs> but uh, that was just my dark humor creeping into my mind while that was being translated. <laughs> oh, man, it's, was, it's funny to me. <laughs> it's horrible, but it's pretty funny. Uh, but right. no, I, I hope they never do, and I hope they. They uh, actually start to improve this this round. You know, yep. they they have definitely a chance to. Today isn't, isn't like a bad lineup for them either. Yeah, I mean they're trying to make stuff work. It's very obvious with the position they're in. They're like, okay, let's bring in some new players. Some of these Chinese Chinese players are the best in the region. Let's see if they can make something work. Um, Jim, I believe, played for them against Spenu, right? Or maybe he was the fourth. I think he was the fourth player. We okay. never got to see him play. Okay. Okay. So. Let's see if, well, Max is definitely going to play today, and we'll see how he does. Yeah. We'll see if he can spark some life into this team because they really need it. Some of I don't that, know, like, yeah. if, in order for them to actually have a chance at the final playoffs, they need to, like, get first place or something. For, like, at the, least lost once. Two, for yeah. like the next two rounds, at least. And they're already off to a really bad start with an 0 3 against Spanish. So yeah. They got to make something work for this season by, like, getting first twice, or maybe first and second, and maybe they can do it. Oh. Uh oh. Gonna get a nice scout there, actually. Gonna see the CC, gonna see the factory. Great start for Yoda. Oh boy. Hmm. He's practically run this game already, Valdez. <laughs> Might as well just go to the next he one. He is just too far ahead with that, that scout. That SUV just got way too much information. It's like, well, I won the game just right then and there. Yeah, maybe that'll give Yoda the confidence to actually win the game. Maybe. Maybe. It is a good sort of a start to it, at least. Yoda going to be going for that uh, Reactor Hellions. Yeah, this is the same build that Cure did, um, except Cure put his CC on the high ground. And MMA pressured it much harder, whereas TY, he just went for a much earlier CC. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's see what it goes from here. Stopwatch coming down, going to be next. I wonder if we'll see some Banshee play. We actually didn't get to see any Banshee play in the last TBT. Yeah. Both players sitting on one gas. I mean, it's possible that they go and, like, dump all their gas into uncloaked Hellions, or rather, uncloaked um, Banshees. But uh, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, finally we see that second gas coming down here for Yoda. He's making the move. He's making that move. Tech Lab, oh. Starport, Scan sees it all. He actually saw the entire base. There's nothing hidden except In CC, I suppose, but he knows that's coming down. Does he, Valdez? He hasn't seen it, actually. There's no... There's no visual evidence of it, but here we go. Some Hellions in big trouble. 
Ooh, yeah, Yoda. That was, that was just an ill-fated attack. Not really going to work. No, no siree. And many back on the way. As well as Reactor Marines. Could be a Hellion drop, Valdez. Could be. Oh. 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 <laughs> See a Raven coming out here for Yoda. Looks like uh, no bounces here. Just mm. a Raven. Just a Raven. Interesting. Bit of safety. There's a Hellion drop. Well, if it goes to the natural, it will be kind of thwarted pretty pretty single-handedly. Yeah. There's a weak Hellions in that medivac as well, mind you. Some of them are in orange already. Gonna have to go all the way around to the main base, I think. That'd be the smartest choice of all. And he will do that. Oh, he's even gonna distract at the front with a couple of Marines. The Hellions all get out here. And he's not playing Slur the SCVs. They're, they're lining up there on the right side. Ooh. One more hit, and he gets six, and he's even going to save two of them. Yeah, you go down to this natural, apply some more damage, get one more at least. Yeah, these Marines are just being run around the space right now. Really hard for Yoda to defend against that for now, so a lot of economic damage done there by TY. He's also got that CC up ahead of Yoda. So, in a great position right now is TY. He's going to be moving across the map with a bunch more Marines behind this. Going to start that tank production as well while he gets the third and fourth gas in his natural. So he's in a pretty, pretty handy spot right now. Getting that seven SCV kills, really impressive. Yeah. He's going to do a bit of dual prong to Ras, I guess you can say. Bantu coming into the natural as well as a Marine drop towards the front, or rather the main, and two Hellions at the front. Mm. Well. If he drops on top of these Hellions, he could probably wipe them out with eight Marines. If they're all bunched together, though, the Hellions should be able to deflect them. I love how T.Y. does this. He posts at the front and distracts Yoda, and then he comes in from another oh, side. Nice concave here. He's not reacting fast enough. That's the distraction at the front. Now the Marines are in the main, and the Banshee, do not forget about him. He's coming in here to the natural. He's coming in hot, Valdez. Oh, almost catching that Banshee as well. Look at that. Cloaked Banshee in the natural, just doing so much damage. There's nothing here to stop it whatsoever. So many SCVs are already going oh down. This is a nightmare of Valdez. I'm having a panic attack right now. <laughs> Raven was out, but it was totally out of position. And he will kill the Banshee, but TY is just doing unbelievable amounts of damage right now. Yeah, that's 11 SCVs going down again. You know, it's just adding up. That's 18 all up, Valdez. Yeah. Nasty. And Yoda's in a spot where he, he's got more tanks, but TY's already setting up for this. He's going to scout this push coming across. He knows this could be an option here out of uh, Yoda to go for a bit of a counterattack after he lost a lot of units harassing. But TY's going to be just fine back at home. Yeah, he's looking fantastic. He's, he's got everything on lockdown. This big counterattack. It's going to have to do some damage. A small supply lead currently for Yoda. But with all these SCVs oh that are God. going down, he's got to make something happen now. Right now. Yoda still hasn't made any mission turrets. These Banshees have been out on the map for so, so long. Yeah. He's just going to suicide. He's going to sack this Banshee for the kills. Six more going down. That natural is empty right now, Valdez. Pretty much. TY sitting back. He's getting his production up. He's trying to switch into bio. He's got a lot of barracks coming down. He's been getting that stim now. It uh, looks like Yoda going to do more of the same, just committing to more air before going into it. You see a little trooper of Marines heading towards the left side. He's actually going to need those homes to defend against this push. Well, here we go. Only two tanks in position for this and four Vikings. He's going to have the advantage of Vikings if a PDD goes down there. Ooh, if he got that Banshee, that would be huge as well. These Marines are actually just going to run around and try to go for the harass damage again, and Yoda is going to pull Back. He's waiting for Stem. He's he's 10, uh, 20 seconds away from Stem. He's going to go in now, it seems. Yeah, it's a pretty good window of opportunity, but there's nothing here. What a weird attack. Yep, there's some Marines here, but ah. looks like TY's got more. Some SCVs to tank, but still yeah. pretty decent trade. I'm getting a few Marines. Uh, sorry. If, oh, oh, get the Banshee. Get the, <laughs> the Banshee. so low. Oh. He's not going to get either. Five HP and one Stim. HP. He gets both. <laughs> Wait up. Straight up. Nicely done, TY. And at the same time, he pulls back the entire push of, of Yoda. So now he's got great production. The barracks are behind here for Yoda. He's going to move out on the map. 
and look to press the advantage now. Ooh. Scan goes down, he sees nothing on the map. Or nothing in the natural, so he knows it's on the map. Oh, PDD look at goes this. down. PDD goes down, but TY still has more Vikings, and this PDD went down before the fight is possibly gonna happen. May just even go in here and run out that energy. Yeah, he's got a second PDD as well with this uh, with this Raven, so he can throw it out whenever he decides to. Ooh, cannot lose the Raven before he uses it there, and there we go, he's gonna use it. Gonna run out of energy in just a second. At the same time, you know, like, Yoda just still doesn't have enough Vikings, and TY's gonna win the air trade. Once even again. gonna push over here. He's got the air advantage. He's getting a nice of his tanks. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Oh, gonna try for that Raven. Gotta be careful. He's gonna try for it. He loses a lot of Marines, though. They're gonna possibly push into these tanks. So many more reinforcements coming down for TY as well. Bit of a parade push happening. Very even in army supply, but I feel like the positioning here for TY is a bit better. He's got those tanks and that small group of Marines trapped to the left side. Yeah, Look at this concave. There's going to be just too much eventually, and it might even be now. Oh, unsieging. Uh, un He's going to try to get out of here. And it looks like he will. Oh, wow. Great very move. nicely done. Yeah, very important move from Yoda. Same time, TY still trying to find some damage. Scan will go down to help out with the siege here, but still, TY remains in control of this air. Oh wow! So you get the better end of that trade as well. Yep. Now possibly moving over towards that natural, trying to siege up some tanks slowly. Head over that way. That Raven, oh, goes down. Drops down an auto turret. That's about it. See a gigantic drop coming out of Yoda. But Ooh, big stem forward. He's found out that the drops were happening. He's got a tank for it. Can't like sh can't shave off too many of his Marines though, because there is uh, quite the advantage for Yoda in terms of Marines. Yeah. Too bad. I don't think he wants to really fight here. He's trying to bait the Marines into the tank fire. Those tanks you see right there. Uh, just trying to bait them in. Not really going for it just yet. Only one tank down here. He could set uh, set up in a pretty awkward place. Make things just a little bit harder for Yoda. Yoda bringing everything else down. It's going to open up his back door, which is also another big threat on this map. I love the patrolling medevac here just for some vision. Got to be careful with the position on your tanks. Oh, and now he's getting a position onto this gas. That is not what you want to have happen. Although both players have an enormous bank in gas, so maybe Yoda's going to thank him for that. Well, it looks like Yoda's going to try to break his way out. Not many Marines in position for this. Yeah, these two first tanks are going to go down. He's hey. even going to get position on that one tanker, but look at this gigantic drop into the main, drawing a lot of Yoda's units out of position. Yeah, this is what it's all about. That's why there simply wasn't enough bio to, to kind of help these tanks out. He's going to try for the factory. If he gets the factory down, this oh, composition is going to be so much stronger, but here's going to be an awkward fight. Getting out alive actually is so smart. Really nicely done. He can easily sacrifice that tank. You see a scan go down to what you would think would be the third base for TY, but he doesn't see that CC that's over here to the right, so he may think that TY, in fact, doesn't have a third base up, and he would be wrong. Yep, he would be very wrong at that. Let's see how Yoda's going to play it from here. He's going to have to remake that factory, so his tank count's only going to be staying at three for now. If you look at supplies, TY is up in bases, he's up in workers, and he's up in army. Literally literally behind in nothing. Yeah, he is miles ahead at this point. What can you do from here? He scans it, he sees it, he's like, oh. Yeah, now he knows. Ouch. TY so gonna go for a small drop in the back. He's gonna kill one SCV, but he will get out. I love the preparation here. It's a small supply deep over here looking for the drop that's coming in. He's going to try to commit to it, go in and boost. And he will get some of these Marines down, but Medivac's going to go down and all the Marines with it. Yeah, not funny enough. And whoa, big Doom drop. Nine Medivacs going to the north. I'm not wow. sure if it got scattered or not. He was very close to what we had on the map for ty doesn't look like it and this scb is going over there to scout but he's gonna miss it oh yeah this is one way to pull yourself back into a game if you're behind he's flying into a viking though valdez this could be a big problem if he notices on the minimap and he does oh man 
Yoda not going to be able to find that damage. And now he's totally out of position for TY's counterattack. Yep, so much coming down into that empty natural. Gigantic stimming, and look at what is not here for Yoda. Nothing. Or everything. <laughs> Everything at uh, the top of that ramp there, Valdez. So he's got to be careful here. There, with a couple of tanks, he should be able to bulldoze his way up. Yeah. And look at this Doom Drop, not able to do anything. Oh, he may man. find some space into the natural. Well, this tank's sieged up in that natural, mind you. Not going to find too much. GG. TY will take game number one here. Take out Yoda. We were calling him possibly the only hope for Prime. We are going to go into Max Head versus Flash, though. So. We'll see if Maxon can put on the pressure on the flash. That should be a pretty fun one. Yeah, I'm really excited to see him. You know, 442 days, was it, since we saw the last foreign player? I, I think it was 300, wasn't it? I think it was 400. Wow. It's a long time since we've seen State play. It really has. T.Y. Hasn't had a ton of success, and honestly, hasn't even been played so much, especially after they picked up life here for PT. Um, yeah, kind he, of lost his spot to life. Yeah, he really kind of disappeared for a while there. He wasn't playing very well either, which was kind of also another reason yeah. why. Not just life kicking him out of that spot. Good to see him back there playing a solid game. Now let's see what Flash can do up against this, uh, this Chinese player. Bringing some of, that, some of that flavor from the east. <laughs> well, it's to the west of Korea, technically. Moving. Be quiet. <laughs> Life looking good for the camera. All the KT boys kind of just getting together, high five and saying, yep, we did our job. Yoda doesn't really look sad at all, to be honest. Kind of just saying, ah, I did my best. I love how we got a bunch of tweets on Twitter. People are like, it's Steve, come on. <laughs> like, what? It's over a year ago. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> All right, Deadwing is going to be the map for this one as well, Valdez. Yeah. Flash versus Mac said, as we said before. The Mac attack versus Flash. Can Flash play up the snuff? He's uh, He's been playing a lot better these days, actually, especially in TVT. We haven't seen much of his TVP recently. 